That's a new one from Jesse J there on Dizzy Rascal with Big Sean that is wild. And that's what it feels like in here. I'm gonna be sick. Hold on a wee second. Oh! <laughs> so here on <laughs> No! It's come down my top! Please! Brian! 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 So we're talking about fears and phobias and uh, Brian Stewart from Talking About Clouds is here. I'm talking about funny because he's just what is this thing called again? It's a royal python, right? So he's just put a royal python around my neck. I should, why does this keep happening? I know I invited you down, but I'm going to try and sit down. Yeah. I know I keep inviting him down. And, uh, if you ever get an, inv- uh, an, opportunity, to, <laughs> an opportunity to invite Brian Stewart down, never bring him to your house. This thing has a... Uh, is it, is it in my shirt? Because my shirt was a, unbuttoned a little bit too much and I can feel something yeah, slithering around. I'm not hurry chest. Mm-hmm. Is, it, <laughs> is it the snake's head or its tail? It's his tail. That's not so bad. I have very sensitive nipples, so I was like, con- slightly concerned. Um, you see, now, because this has happened before, and on tape that I'm about to play with a much larger snake, I don't feel as nervous, and this isn't as heavy, because the, the other snake, this one's about 3 foot long, the other one was 14 foot. Yep. This thing is... Oh! 1.2 kilos. It's not, it wasn't moving, but now it's, now it's moving again. It's okay. So I can't, and because of where I'm sitting, I can't actually see it because it's wrapped right around my neck like a really bad... It's just your armor. Don't worry about it. It's just what? <laughs> oh, Brian. So, well, as we've said before, that one of the ways to tackle your fears uh, is to be exposed to it, but possibly in more slower stages. Um, but which obviously we're not doing right now, Chris. Um, You've dived in at the deep end. Yeah, come going close to that mic so I can, I can hear you. Um, when, I, when, we, when you say I've dived in at the deep end, I haven't really because Brian just came up and put this on as I put the fader up, so I didn't really have much of, a, <laughs> of an opportunity or of, of a choice in this, really. Um, <laughs> if somebody came to you and said, I have got a, an intense fear of snakes, obviously you wouldn't whip a snake out and no. wrap around them to, to help them overcome it, so what would you say uh, to them? What would you do to try and, oh, every time it moves, I think we're going to vomit, uh, to try and to help them? Is it is it is its grip getting tighter on my neck? No, because it is moving again. It's, it's, it's moving, but the grip isn't getting tight. Uh, just moving down your arm. It's fine. All you are is a tree. Be the tree. I don't think trees wet themselves, which will prove that uh, wrong. There's my ambulance on the way. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's got here early. Um, that's what, you, that's what you get from in the window in the studio because it's too warm. So yes, what would you do, Chris? What would you be saying to me? Well, well the, the first thing you have to remember is your phobia developed, <laughs> it's, it's developed at a very early age, Vinny. You'll not know the reason why. Usually it's because of a heightened emotional response, so maybe a, a snake's freaked you out in the past. But what You've would you do to try and help me to tackle it? Because this thing... <laughs> oh, Brian, please, the head is now round in my hand. <laughs> I don't like it. I know that I'm supposed to tackle my fears, but I don't like this because I can feel its tongue licking my my arm there, my bare arm, I should say. You, why are you enjoying this so much, Chris? Maybe it's par- partly because I'm slightly sadistic. Possibly. Um, so what do you say to me in terms of uh, in terms of hypnotism? I don't want you to try and hypnotize me now with the radio because people might get this is disgusting. People might try and do it themselves. Uh-huh. What would you do? Would you what put would me I in do? a state of mind that would... Uh, yeah, but we get you into a hypnotic state and basically do a parse negotiation, a parse integration, which, which means we, we negotiate with your subconscious mind, which okay. is your unconscious mind. That's, that's uh, the kind of part of you that manages your breathing um, and your unconscious functions. The ones that aren't working quite well right now. E- exactly, yeah. Okay. Um, consciously, you know, you, you can be aware of many things. You, it, it chooses your decisions. Your subconscious mind or your unconscious mind is one that runs runs everything in the background. Um, I basically speak to it, use your body to give me different signals, and then just kind of wash everything away. Ugh. This thing is now wrapping itself around my arm, and Brian is enjoying all this far too much. Um, but I guess. Well, I have, I have to give it to you, Benny. Applause, Aaron. He, he did it right. Yeah, did all right. You see, all right, yeah. as, as, as I said, after after biscuit, then I uh, the fourteen foot snake. I don't feel it so bad now. And you said so nine out of ten, nine out of ten times this will work and this will help people if exactly. they are open for. If, if they want it, that, that's the thing. You, you